making the decision to be a stay-at-home mom was um, one of the most difficult decisions for me to make. I never in my wildest dream ever in my wildest dream thought that I would be here and um, and never in my wildest dream did I ever think that I would stay at home. But the journey of my life has brought me to this point. And but the fact that when I realize that this is going to be my current reality, I have to evolve and accept it as is. And people don't understand that while some people already know from the get-go that this is what they want to do, some people make difficult decision to actually stay at home and make their kids a priority for that season. And um, I, I was working in an IT company before I got married. And um, when I got married, because I was moving to another part of town, I, I knew I couldn't do the commute, right? So I told them that I was going to resign. The idea was, in my mind, was probably get another job closer to where I was going to be living and such that, you know, it's women for everybody. But my husband, you know, talked to me on like, because he has a business. And I was like, oh, come, let's work on the business together and things like that. So I was like, okay, fine, that's a good idea. So we decided that we're going to work together on the business. And, but my company at the time didn't want me to leave. So they gave me a part-time contract where I worked with them on a part-time basis. And they paid me, I was working with my husband so that's how I was earning a living, right? So fast forward to pregnancy and giving birth. So I, of course I took my maternity leave from my part-time work. And then um, after that, you know, when it was time to start work again, and I still worked for a couple of months after and my son you know, so because of course I was working with my husband so I could take a step back and and not have to be there all the time and do. So I was at home with my son. And then I just couldn't take it. I couldn't handle it. Some people are built differently, but I just could not handle everything. I couldn't handle it. The fact that, of course, the, my role was I was a client management. I was a client manager, so I, I would be on the phone and my baby would be crying. You know, something that's supposed to be a business call, and stuff, and all of that, like everything all together, I just couldn't do it. And the decision, making that decision, was very, very tough. I am the kind of person that I. I knew what I wanted in life. Like I written it down at 25, I wanted to be married. At this and this and this, I wanted to be working here. I wanted to have written my book at this age. I wanted to have done this at this age. I wrote it down. I wrote this at, at the age of like 23. So I knew, as in I charted the course of my life literally. And then I had to make a decision to, to pause and take a step back. And this was not, this show was not even from me. Oh, this boy is small. I knew I didn't want to take him to a crutch. I knew I didn't, all of those things. And the fact that I knew that I wanted to be there and then knowing that something had to give to be there. For me, you know, uh, it was very, very difficult. I cried for like a whole week. For like a whole week I cried because I just couldn't fathom not doing something, quote and unquote. I just couldn't fathom it, like, you know, it just didn't make sense to me. 
but I knew that I, I also knew that I could not handle it so I had to make a decision I didn't even tell my husband all the while I didn't tell him because I felt I felt like it was feeling like as if I was using my baby as an excuse not to work or like um I don't know how to put it but it just felt like I was trying to find an excuse and you will probably see me as me being lazy or me being not strong but then I embraced my weakness <laughs> I embraced it and I made a decision I wrote my resignation letter this time was the final resignation letter and I put it in all the while I didn't tell my husband honestly it was a very bad bad for me on my part please don't do that please discuss it with your husband but I I put in my resignation letter and that was a very 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 difficult decision for me